G'day everybody, it's me again. Got this little truck here to work on for the old man. It's a 95 Mitsubishi Canter. It's about a four, about a four tonner I think. It's, a, it's got a six cylinder turbo diesel. So I suspect that it will go fairly well. Um, haven't really driven it around properly yet. So it needs to be licensed, needs to go over the pits. It's got this little crane on it. Which wasn't working too well. Hydraulic pump was stuffed, again. Another crane truck with another stuffed hydraulic pump. So, pumps come off the PTO. Gonna replace that. Of course, I have to change the oil in the gearbox. Luckily this one had a uh, stop valve on the tank, so I didn't have to drain the oil. Um, funny thing about this car, uh, truck. When it was purchased, it says here it won't stop. Yeah, the funny part about that was, well, it wasn't, wasn't making any air pressure. The brakes are uh, air over hydraulic. And uh, all of the drain valves, tank drains, they were like, you know, full of crap, so they weren't sealing properly. And also, there's another tank for the rear brakes up, on, up under behind this spare tyre. And that had the same problem, except I couldn't repair that valve, I have to replace it. A um, couple of new batteries. Can't really see much here because it's all covered up. Turbo's just under there. I'll show you it all when I pop the cab up one day. Uh, I had the pressure gauge hooked up to the uh, crane. It's only reading about 300 psi, which is nowhere near enough. So I could unfold the crane, but then I couldn't fold it back up again because there's a safety. The uh, hydraulic safety valve there wouldn't let it fold back up, so I had to back that off so I could fold it back up again. And uh, yeah, I managed to get it folded back up. That's actually, they're actually pilot valves, so you need to actually open a valve on the ram with so much pressure before you'll be able to let the fluid out or to let the ram back down. Um, it's a safety thing, so you actually have to kind of, you actually kind of more or less have to force the ram back down. Um, just like you push it up, you have to push it back down, if that makes any sense, it should do. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's only a little baby crane, five meter odd tray. Uh, absolutely covered in grease and dirt and yuck. I've got three quarters of it off. It needs to have another good pressure cleaning run. Get the rest of it off. Inside it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Seats aren't, aren't relatively unscathed. They pass the pits nicely. Needs a clutch pedal. Oh no, this the other truck that needs a clutch pedal rubber. This one's got a clutch pedal rubber. It's actually in pretty good nick. 380 odd thousand and uh, yeah see the air pressure it's kind of an aftermarket thought that one I think when they put the six cylinders in these six speed manual heater air con there's your PTO switch air operated of course and uh, yeah when I get it all fixed up and I get it running properly I'll give you another another look at it but uh, yeah, apart from that, she's a little, little, little uh, what would you call her? You'd call her a little perler. Huh. Needs a few globes here and there. Bit of mucking around, bit of tidying up. A couple of new front tyres. Back ones are okay, but the front ones are a bit sad. So yeah, um, I also passed my thousand subscriber milestone, so I'll be doing a little bit of video on that too, because there's a guy I want to thank. And, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching.